and I think you know maybe I overshared a little bit and I think this would have drastically changed my college experience the most important thing and my biggest tip out of all these things is hey everyone and welcome or welcome back in today's video I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me slash life updates slash college advice video so let's get started I of course have my coffee I just got the Starbucks Irish cream cold brew this morning and I have my filled up Stanley so we're all ready to go so first I'm gonna start by clipping back my hair I'm just using these collar clips from I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls right now that I kind of look a little bit like an alien I don't really know I'm gonna start by doing the it cosmetics CC cream so I'm getting ready today to go to Carmel which is like this beach in Northern California that I love and I'm going with my best friend Ellie so I'm very excited we're probably gonna get food take pictures all of that I think I'm gonna get into talking about college because I feel like that is my main life update for you guys as you guys probably know, probably have seen, I have not been posting a lot really on social media at all, but especially on YouTube. And that is because first semester was a roller coaster. 2022 was definitely the most change-filled, like craziest, most different year of my life for sure. It all kind of started with my like college application process. Um, submitting all of my college apps, getting into colleges, deciding which one I was going to go to, picking my roommate, shopping for my dorm, and finally moving in. So now that my base is done, I'm going to go in quickly with some concealer. I just use the Glossier Stretch One. I think I definitely had some misconceptions about like what college would be like. And I kind of imagined like having the perfect, like picture perfect college experience because I feel like on the internet, college life is very like romanticized and it's like oh my gosh like you get to like be away from your family and like make all these new friends enjoy a sorority for some reason i like didn't think i'd be homesick i have no idea why because i am so so close to my parents i'm an only child and i don't know i've just grown up just have my parents literally right down the hall from me now i'm just gonna go in with this elf putty blush i think just because of all these like misconceptions and me basically like gaslighting myself into thinking that college would be like this easy transition and it would be like all like sunshine and rainbows because i tend to have a very positive outlook on life i was just really excited to like start the next chapter of my life and really just not thinking about like possible things that could like go wrong potentially i was really excited about the college i had picked even though it wasn't the one that i was originally um thinking about me having these high expectations and then the reality of moving in was very stressful me and all my roommates had the same move in time so picture all of us plus our parents in this super small dorm room it was smaller than i had expected and the realization just like hit me like after this weekend my parents are leaving I live many hours away. I can't just drive back home whenever I want to. And I think that really just like made me spiral a little bit. And therefore, I think I just did not use my first few days of college as well as I should have. I now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Flexitarian. Just put a little bit on my nose because it wasn't the picture perfect like moving experience that I thought it would be. I think my channel just really like suffered because I was just kind of struggling with like just because the first few days weren't going exactly how I wanted I was like did I pick the wrong college you guys know anything about San Diego State you know that it is a huge Greek life school there were 1600 girls that are rushing which is crazy only I think 800 spots only half of the girls that signed up for rush were gonna be able to get bids and out of those 800, some of them may not get the exact bid that they wanted to. And oh, if you guys don't know what bids are, basically bids are what you get after going through the recruitment process for a sorority. So a bid basically says this particular sorority wants to extend you um, membership and give you the ability to like pledge or become like a new member for the sorority. So like the first two days of Rush were the welcome round so we were able to go to every single house and like talk to them on zoom 
And then based off of those like 10 minute conversations, we each house would decide like if they wanted you back for a day two. Day two, I realized I did not get as many houses back as like I wanted to. And it just made me like, oh my gosh. Because again, I had these high expectations that I was gonna get back from every single house that I wanted to. Still, since there were 1600 girls rushing, I just realized like, oh, I need to be a little more realistic about kind of my expectations for rush and all of that. And it was just a stressful like process, but did end up getting really lucky. And I did actually end up getting the house that honestly I had the best connection with from the beginning. I am currently in Kappa Delta and I love it. I don't know, it's been a really great experience for me so far. So it really just goes to show you that like everything does work out in the end, even though it was a stressful experience in the moment. I think that it was really good character building and I think it was like important for me because I knew I wanted to go through Rush and I think just like challenging myself and putting myself out there I think really helped. It definitely was a little rough for a moment, but I was really, really happy to be able to join a sorority and like have like a community on campus immediately, like right after school started. I think the combined stress of all of those events really just culminated in me just not really being able to work on my channel, having to just focus on being a new member of my sorority, and then also just like working on school and stuff like that. I realized that change definitely is hard for me. And I feel like it is that way for a lot of people. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up a little bit with the Groove Proof Eyebrow Pencil. I'm gonna add my favorite thing ever, which is the 24 hour brow setter. And I just feel like I didn't really have that many ideas for videos for my channel, which just really sucked. All right, so off camera, I did a little bit of white in my waterline and just a little white in the corners of my eyes, just using this like NYX eye pencil. But I've kind of shared like the reality for me kind of of being in college. I'm gonna share some tips with you guys that I think would be super, super helpful. And also just kind of some reminders for me for next semester. Okay, so I actually did my eyelashes off camera. I'm gonna do some telescopic, just like under, not under, for my lower, for my lower lash line. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Number one, I think would be to call or text family and friends daily. Now, I don't know if you guys are close with like your parents or your siblings or if you have like a close family friend or best friend but i think it's so important to like call or text them daily i think it really just helps to remind you that like you're not alone and you have all of these people to support you back home and technology is so amazing that you can literally like facetime someone anywhere in the world and i think another tip would definitely be to do headspace meditations. I loved headspace meditations and my mom actually recommended them to me. I love the series they do about change. Going along with the headspace meditation, I think for me, the most important thing and my biggest tip out of all these things, realizing that pushing away from change or being in denial is not gonna make things revert back to the way they were. It's only gonna make it harder for you it's only gonna make the process that much harder. Whether you are starting a new job, maybe moving to a new city, going back to school, you're going to college, any major life change is gonna be made 10 times harder if you refuse to accept it and you are wishing that things could kind of like go back to the way they were. And the way that you can actually make it easier for yourself and help yourself to adjust faster is if you think, change is gonna happen whether I like it or not. So I just have to accept that change is the only constant thing in life and just recognize that things are not gonna stay the same forever. And if they were to stay the same and if you were to stay the same person, then you wouldn't change, you wouldn't grow, you wouldn't progress and you would just keep living the same life on repeat. And I really don't think that's what any of us want. Even though I still definitely struggle with this, I think that initial realization for me, which first came about because of the headspace meditation, really just put things into perspective. My next tip would be journaling. Journaling is so important to get out your thoughts, to maybe plan goals, and to really just know yourself better. Next. 
consistent routines. Obviously college is kind of different than maybe like your high school life and a lot of things kind of like change and stuff. But I think if you have like a consistent morning routine, at least on weekdays and a semi-consistent like night routine, I think that will really help, especially if you're like a routine oriented person like I am. The next thing, this helped me get through my first week of college, going to the gym. Literally, the gym is so, so close to my dorm, so I just would walk to the gym. And even if I was just running or walking on the treadmill, that was something. I think it helped me to release all of these negative emotions and all of my stress by just channeling it into some kind of activity. Next thing, being busy. I mean, I'm not saying have some kind of crazy jam-packed schedule, but I think being busy really, really helped me to adjust to college because it helped me have something to focus my energy on. Also going along with that, focusing on school. Another important thing, getting out of your dorm. If you are stuck in your dorm 24 seven, especially if it's a small dorm, you're gonna feel trapped. You are gonna feel not great. So get out of your dorm, go to the library, go to the gym, go to your favorite park bench on campus. I don't know, but go out of your dorm because if you're in there all the time, it's gonna feel sad and depressing. Classic, finding a planner, paper or digital, whatever works best for you. I use paper, then I switched to digital, then I went back to paper. Now I think I'm gonna officially go digital. I made like a little motion template so i think that's what i'm gonna do for this next whole year just because i can like take it on the go next i did not do this and i think this would have drastically changed my college experience knock on everyone's door so basically what i'm saying is like after you finish moving in after the first day get up get go with all your roommates and knock on every person's door on your floor introduce yourself say where you're from say your major it's important to knock on every person's door and get to know everyone on your floor and you're gonna be living with these people for eight months so it's important to introduce yourself be really friendly and i didn't do this i took naps and i cried and i try to spend as least amount of time in my dorm as possible and I basically convinced myself that I hated it and I would not recommend to do that. Even if it's uncomfortable, even if you hate speaking to new people, do it, do it, do it, do it because you can make some of your best friends just by simply knocking on someone's door and it's gonna make their day. Next one, make plans and take action. I think I procrastinated so much this semester because I would just kind of like dilly dally, sit around and then kind of just waste my time on TikTok. Make plans right away and say, okay, I'm gonna do school from this to this time. I'm gonna go to the gym from this to this time. I'm gonna have dinner with my friend from this to this time. It's like amazing. And then also taking action and making like plans with other people. I know it's scary to like reach out to people, but it's so important and so necessary. And finally, follow your intuition because there are going to be people at your school probably i go to a school that's very greek life there's a lot of like frat parties that's like a big thing that people do and there's going to be people that are like they love going out every single night and there's going to be people who consistently stay in every single night and you have to find and follow people that match your energy and match your vibe you have to follow your gut follow your intuition and know what choices are right for you and what choices are not right for you. Cannot stress this enough. Make safe choices, make good choices in college. Thank you guys so much for watching my little life update slash college advice video. I really, really hope that I gave you guys some good advice. And I think, you know, maybe I overshared a little bit. I think it's important to kind of like share realistic experiences, share, you know, some good advice. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.